Hey you guys, this is Ms. Kim here at Healthcare Resources. Want to talk to you today about a uh, activity you may have to participate in as a CNA in a hospital. And that is helping to um, collect urine for a 24 hour urine collection. 24 hour urine collection. And as the name says or sounds, you collect urine for your patient for 24 hours. This test is normally ordered or the urine is collected rather to help diagnose and to provide um, knowledge of how to treat a kidney disease that is going on. Kidney disease can happen because of diabetes, high blood pressure, um, frequent urinary tract infections, blockages, um, all kind of things can cause the doctor to want to see what's going on with the kidneys. So once it's ordered, normally the, the nurse will put up signs on the door entering the um, room, on the bathroom door, over the head of the bed that says 24-hour urine collection in process. So if the urine collection says it's in process and they're going to start at 12 o'clock, here is what you should know. The first urine is thrown away, which means it is not collected. So it started at 12. Your patient urinated or voided at 1230. We do not collect that one. Everyone after that one is collected. We collect them in a jug. Not only do we collect them in a jug, we're also going to need a basin because we're going to have some ice in here. And we're going to put this in there. The urine has to stay on ice. It has to stay on ice. So when you see that the ice has, has melted, get a bag um, and fill it with ice and bring it in the room. And I'm saying bag because in our area, we have these clear little bags that we can go into the pantry and get ice. And that's to prevent taking um pictures and stuff and probably possibly cross contamination so we use those um, bags and we fill them up with the ice okay so you're going to need your jug and you're going to need your basin and ice once again the urine collection started at 12 o'clock your patient voided at 12 30 it does not go in the jug we toss that one out and all the other ones are collected if your jug gets full, we simply get another jug and we keep it on ice until 12 o'clock the next day. Here's another important thing. If any of the urine between 12 o'clock today and 12 o'clock tomorrow is tossed out, we got to start all over. Yes, just one, somebody you forgot, you were in a hurry and you put it in the toilet. We have to start all over and the doctors are normally not happy about that. Another thing about urine collection is they can be performed when a client has a Foley. So that means you'll need your jug and you will need two basins because if they have a Foley catheter, the drainage bag gets put on ice. And we'll need another one to put this one on ice when we empty the drainage bag. So remember that as well. If they are, have a Foley catheter, they still can be on urine collection. The urine that is in the bag must stay on ice as well. So between you and the nurse, make sure that you keep that urine on ice. Make sure that you do not toss out anything after that first void and you, the patient, and the doctor will be a happy camper. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or you would like for me to discuss any of the skills or any of the job roles that you perform at your job, let me know. Once again, this is Ms. Kim, Healthcare Resources here at Augusta, Georgia. Thanks for watching. Bye.